and as you can see, this is just like crazy XP. So we started off at I think one or two levels. And we're just stacking it up here. everybody and welcome back to another Kittaloo video. So today I wanted to show you guys really what I consider to be the best gold farm ever. So as you can see in the background, uh, my uh, queue is actually stacked up with zombie pigmen and uh, this farm just works like crazy. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the gold farm today, uh, show you how this works, how this is set up, it's really kind of a low-tech solution, so there's not a lot involved other than, you know, obviously lots of obsidian. Uh, I will show you how this is built, how you can put this together. Um, really, gold is a super useful tool. Uh, make golden apples and do some trades with villagers. Uh, lots of things that you could use this for, so let's go ahead and get into it, and I will show you what I've got. So as you guys can see, these guys uh, just spawn periodically up here. And, you know, it's really the classic setup. So the obsidian, then we've got some trap doors here. They automatically spawn, and then they fall down into this hole. And then I actually set up a water elevator uh, that then they they come up and, um, you know, queue up here for me. So you can see, you know, they, they drop in here. Now you can get better rates even if I go in there and kind of smack one of these guys. Then some more will kind of jump off the ledge. Um, they really hate it when I hit them with a fish. So let me, uh, let me find one I can hit with a fish here real quick. And then they'll really all start jumping off of here. So let me go in here and um, let's see. I've got my XP down. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and get in here and see how many levels we can build up because at the end of the day this is really an XP farm as well as a gold farm. So let's go in here and see how much XP we can get uh, by clearing out this queue. And as you can see this is just like crazy XP. So we started off at I think one or two levels. And we're just stacking it up here. So you could see that flowing. The beautiful XP. And we're still knocking these guys out right and left. So yeah, guys. So like up to 27 levels uh, by clearing out the queue right there. And then you, you'll see these guys will just keep keep stacking in here keep flowing through so you can stand here what I've what I've actually got this set up to do is I've got my fish farm right here so I can actually stand here and fish uh, AFK and then just turn around and then really just go to town on these guys so it's really an excellent way to build up XP really really fast so I've got 27 levels uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about today is the idea of mob farm stacking so really taking a mob farm and and stacking them together so that you're using you're doing multiple things at once so as you can see I've got my uh, zombie pigment farm there I've got my fish farm there and I actually set up kind of just for fun a, uh, a chicken farm up here so I can actually whack these guys and you can see the lag is going to be crazy on these chickens um, but they do give they do give some XP, so uh, you can see all that flowing in there from the chickens. Wow, just uh, just crazy from chickens. This is really a pretty cool uh, a pretty cool system in here. So this is actually a, a live uh, a raw chicken farm. So you can there's a lot of tutorials out there for a cooked chicken farm. What I really wanted to do is have a raw chicken farm. Uh, not only so I could whack the adults, uh, but then I could actually take this this extra chicken here and throw them into these furnaces, and uh, you get some XP from actually cooking up the uh, cooking up the raw chicken as well. So 
up to 34 levels. So what were we at? At 27, I think, before. So we got, you know, five, six, seven levels from, from those chickens. And really, that's what I wanted to uh, to talk about, really, is the is the mob farm stacking. So as you can see, very quickly, I went from one level to 34 levels. And now I can either do some more AFKing and really get some more levels built up and then, you know, hit the zombie pigment again. Or I can uh, go ahead and take that 30, that 30 or so levels and, and do some really cool enchanting with it uh, as well. So um, this is the setup that I've got going on. You can see the zombie pigment are already stacking up. So let me go ahead and take a second and show you how the zombie pigment farm is set up. It's really pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk this off for you. So it, it's basically a, a 23 wide level by 23 uh, which is the max that you can build your uh, portals here um, to get them to spawn so I just made the the base that big as well and what I did is I dug four down and I'm gonna put on my my depth strider boots so I can uh, walk around in here what I did is I built four down and then I have one block all the way around the perimeter as you can see and then I just put the water on that second block and then let it all flow to the middle okay and then what will happen is it all flows down into this uh, bottom section and then it flows down into a drop so these guys actually drop down and take some fall damage so that by the time they come back up this water elevator I can one shot kill them so you know I, I thought about doing a, uh, a tutorial on exactly the step-by-step -step to build this I think it's pretty straightforward uh, but let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do a more detailed tutorial on this uh, zombie pigment farm the biggest thing obviously there's no redstone there's there's nothing involved here it's just blocks and water and the obsidian so you know all of this obsidian was was mined by hand I didn't I, I, I didn't use creative at all for this this was all uh, done in survival so just went caving uh, found some good lava pools and got some obsidian and just mined away with a di diamond pickaxe so uh, really this can be done now this was the first section of it as you can see where this ends I actually expanded it down this way as well so you can see um, I built some more portals over here and it still has a little bit of room yet to uh, yet to expand so let me go ahead and show you on this how this is uh, how this is really set up so you can see uh, from this perspective uh, how this works so um, I'm gonna drop down here and I built this out just so the water flow would come down it, it obviously pushes them into this little trough here and we flow down takes a step down each each way now the the thing about this design is the baby uh, zombie pigment gets stuck right here which is which is kind of a good thing so they don't mess up your trap don't run into things so I'm just gonna knock this guy out here so I can do this but the adults will get sucked up into the second trap so now we are over in the initial section and let's go ahead and get a pickaxe out and I will show you guys exactly how this works so they get pushed over here and then they flow down this trap boom they take the fall damage and then they get pushed off onto this little ledge and then up another water elevator um, to uh, what you saw up above so that is how this works right here I'm gonna go ahead and let myself out there you have it guys so that is the uh, pigment farm I'm gonna go back up to the top here and we can look once again at where these uh, zombie pigment are coming out so you see I was at the water elevator so it comes down you know right right here and then pops back up so they end up in this little glass cage and I like having it glass just so I can see what they're 
see what they're doing. <laughs> you can see these chickens are already spawning again. These guys are so crazy. I need to turn this off. It's just insane. Uh, there's actually, it's really quick. There's a, a really ingenious way, and I don't know if you guys can see it up here, but the way to separate the adults from the, the baby chickens, this I thought was an ingenious method. So uh, here's a dispenser here, and it shoots them off. There's some iron trap doors above this and glass in front. So all the babies stay in there until they grow into adult size, and then they glitch up top and then kind of push each other off this ledge. So really uh, kind of an ingenious way to separate the uh, adults from the, the little babies. Um, but I am going to turn this off because otherwise it is going to drive me... Uh, drive me drive me pretty nuts all right guys sorry so that is the uh, the zombie pigment farm let me know in the description uh, if you guys want to see more on that uh, so the loot that you get from this let's not forget to uh, look at that so you can see I mean this just gives you a crazy amount of gold you can actually smelt these uh, gold swords and turn them into nuggets but I mean, I've just got chest after chest after chest of, you know, gold and um, nuggets. You can you, you just, it's insane how much gold that you can get from this, this farm and the XP that you get from it as well. So works really, really, really well. Let me know if you guys want me to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on building this thing. It's pretty straightforward. Once again, 23 by 23 on the obsidian. I usually do two side-by-side uh, two -side stacks just to maximize the uh, space. And then trap doors, so they tend to walk off a little bit more frequently. And um, yeah, guys, that is it. If you want to expand it like I did, you can actually, you know, do that over here, and then kind of double up on the uh, double up on the old zombie pigmen. But yeah, this is the uh, stackable mob farm concept with the zombie pigmen farm, the fish farm, and the chicken farm over there. Uh, let me know what you think about stacking mob farms and the XP that you can get from all of that. Um, be interested to hear your thoughts, but otherwise, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed seeing my farm setup here. If I can answer any questions, hit me below in the comments. Be glad to answer those, and uh, we will see you guys on the next video. Bye!